Hola. I'm the mayor of Slamtown, Johnny Impact. Follow me on Twitter at The Real Morrison. Follow me on Instagram at John Hennigan. I got a Facebook page. It's called John Morrison. But right now, you are watching Ambi. Hey, everyone. It's Alicia, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Johnny Impact. Hello. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's How are you doing? It's good to be uh, in your interview, right. Alicia. I'm Thanks so for having me. I'm so excited that you're here. You've been one of my favorite wrestlers for I don't even know how long. So it's I've been so one of my cool. favorite wrestlers for I don't know how long. Of course. We share that. We have <laughs> no, I, I'm just playing. I'm a, I'm a big wrestling fan. I grew up as a wrestling fan. Have you been a wrestling fan for a while, too? Since I was like two or three. Whoa. Yeah. That's, that's intense. Like before you could walk, you were a wrestling fan. <laughs> I've been such a fan for so long. <laughs> so the fact that like we're here, it's Slammiversary, we're a part of it. It's super exciting. And in a pretty cool setting for Slammiversary. Yeah. I mean, I feel... Like, my street cred and cool factor just went up a couple of points sitting here in this We're couch. We're doing an interview on a really cool couch in, like, a cage. This so is swanky. Pretty neat. Well, tonight you're going into a crazy match. It's an international four-way against Ishimori, Phoenix, and then it was just announced that replacing an sadly injured Rich Swan is going to be Petey Williams. So, heading into this, the fact that the night is finally here, what's running through your mind? Um... A lot of things. First, uh, I feel bad for Rich Swan. I know he was really looking forward to the match tonight. Second, uh, Petey Williams is no slouch. He's uh, emphatically Canadian. This is his home country. I know um, he's going to want to impress all of his fans, all of the, the fans of Impact Wrestling. Phoenix, the Mexican, El Animo, is uh, one of the best wrestlers in the world, uh, one of the most famous luchadors in Mexico. Um, I've had some encounters with him in the squared yes. circle a time or two before, and um, I will just corroborate what everyone has been saying about him on uh, social media uh, Phoenix is the real deal. He's one of the most talented dudes in the world. Ishimori, uh, the bone soldier, <laughs> same thing can be said about him. And uh, this truly is an international four-way because um, Ishimori is, uh, is, is famous in Japan. He's wrestled for all the companies there. He's wrestling for New Japan now. And um, then me, you know? Then you. Then just, you know, Johnny <laughs> Impact over here. Um, my, my feelings going into this match is um, it's a little bit – crazy because anything can happen i Absolutely. mean there's so much wrestling experience from so many different places that uh it's gonna be a melting pot of different styles of wrestling and experience and uh i'm looking forward to it i just can't wait because i feel like everyone's eyes are just gonna be like up in the sky the whole time we're not gonna know where to look there's gonna be <laughs> a lot of cool high flying moves happening tonight the more you look up eventually you realize that someone's gonna crash down <laughs> And Eventually that's what your people eyes watch go NASCAR down. for those crashes. And I, <laughs> I imagine some people are watching Slammiversary because they want to see the mayor of Slamtown <laughs> crash land on one of them dudes. I mean, that name kind of works in your favor, too. Slammiversary, mayor of Slamtown. You so. can't have Slammiversary without the mayor of Slamtown. Of course. I mean, this year at least. I mean, I guess you have in the past yeah. a time or two. But hey, we're talking but about year, 2018. 2018. <laughs> you can't have Slammiversary without the mayor of Slamtown. Well, you had mentioned that you've been a wrestling fan for such a long time. You used to watch it every weekend when you were a kid, actually wrestle in your backyard with friends growing up. Mm -hmm. So were any of those gimmicks or characters you had growing up ones that you really wanted to have when you were older? You know, when, uh, it, it's kind of funny. Like um, when I was wrestling with my buddies in the in the front yard, in the backyard or whatever, yeah. we, we didn't really have like full on like wrestling personas. We mostly just imitated our favorite wrestlers. Okay. Um, I, I, for some reason, really liked the model, Rick Martel, because I always wanted to try to put people in, uh, <laughs> in the Boston Crab. And um, one of my buddies was a fan of the Iron Sheik and Sergeant Slaughter and was always going for the camel clutch. Okay. And a lot of times it came down to uh, both of us trying to put each other in either the camel clutch or the Boston <laughs> Crab. And um, it was kind of funny. We went to, uh, to basketball camp one year together, and I think we, we were a little older now, I think. I mean, sixth grade, seventh grade, okay. and we, we played each other in the finals of the one-on-one -on -one tournament in front of everybody, and um, when I ended up losing, um, and I did what, uh, what I always do at home when I lost the basketball, and that is, uh, you know, attack my buddy <laughs> and uh, take him to Slamtown and try to put him in a Boston Crab, but when I did that at the basketball camp in front yeah. of everybody, like, uh, the, the counselors were really upset, oh, they, like, no. they pulled us both aside, and they gave us a stern talking to about wow. fighting. And then um, then they call their parents and they're like, wait a minute. So like Mike and John were uh, were having a fight at, at the basketball court. Oh, that's that's normal. Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> they do that almost every day. That's 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 fine. Super reassuring. We, we got to make sure right? that we let them th know that they can't do that at school or at basketball camp. But um, it wasn't a real fight. They were just friends. Yeah. And then how, <laughs> how did they take that? They, be they believed it. And they're like, all right, we'll let this go. We'll let it they, go. They did. They let us go. Like uh, they, were, they were going to like kick me out of the camp. And then like oh, uh, wow. then after like they, they talked to both of us and our, and our parents are like, OK, guys. So at basketball camp, you're not allowed to 
wrestle each other or fight each other or attempt uh, Boston crabs or camel clutches, <laughs> but you guys can both stay in the camp. <laughs> That's wonderful. Story has a great ending. Happy ending. Happy ending. Something else happy that happened recently, and a congratulations is in store, is the fact that you and Ty Valkyrie had your wedding. I know you both had wedding fever, especially her, so congratulations. Big time. Both of us did. Yeah, yeah. and that was, like a, that was like a happily ever after. Um, I guess there isn't anything I can think of that's uh, more important to me in life than uh, than being married to her and finding her when I did. And uh, yeah, she's she's just the best. And how's married life been treating you so far? You know, it's funny. It doesn't feel any different. Yeah, it doesn't feel that different. I, <laughs> I mean, uh, we were living together before. Um, I feel a lot closer to her after the the ceremony and and um, telling her how I feel about her to her face in front of all of. Uh, our friends and family, and um, it was just such a special day that I think uh, that day brought us closer together. And then, and then you know, the honeymoon didn't suck either. <laughs> that's that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> another another great ending, right? A lot of happy endings, man. <laughs> I feel like Johnny Impact is just like super happy. Yeah, it's happy. I'm mean, having a happy month. It's, it's good times, right? I hope I'm not alienating the viewers. But like this freaking Johnny Impact is just so happy all the time. I can't wait for someone to kick him in the face. Well, there's one thing I know that doesn't make Taya super happy, and that's the fact that you have this gold fanny pack, and she apparently can't stand it. Anytime you wear it, she'll oh, post yeah. it out, and she's like, "Why are you wearing this stupid thing?" So, what's kind of the story behind that? Uh, well, in uh, in my vows, I, I one of the vows that I made to her was that I'm going to. I'm going to try to start dressing more appropriately and, uh, and not embarrass her with uh, wearing pants like these and fanny packs. You're doing a great job. And, uh, <laughs> well, she's not here. Right? Okay, and now, okay. now I'm doing this interview and she's probably going to Oops. watch it because we're talking about her and I'm going to be in trouble. But I'm not wearing a fanny pack. <laughs> That's in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those things where it's like, okay, in front of you, I'm not going to. But behind the scenes, this might slide. I, well, she she has been a positive influence on me, and like uh, every once in a while, I go home and um, she's she's throwing away some of like uh, I had some clothes, I guess, that like I bought in high school, mm -hmm. and they're like these sweet like uh, corduroy shorts that you can't get anywhere. And I, man, I've had those things for like over twenty years. Okay, I thought that was cool. Yeah, she didn't, and um, you know, like they have some holes and are they places. gone now or did she let you keep them? Uh, they're gone. Oh wow! I came home and they it's were they sad. were gone one day. So much for happy endings. That was a sad ending for the corduroy pants. <laughs> but uh, but maybe ultimately for Johnny Impact, also happy because uh, I, I can see how she would be embarrassed by her husband wearing uh, like holy... Super torn up shorts, Corduroy right? shorts. Yeah. In the yeah. end, I guess maybe she's doing you a favor. Right. It's tough love. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing wrong with a little tough love. <laughs> well, other than killing it in the ring, you've been killing it on the big screen, not only with Boone the Bounty Hunter, but also Glow and also being in Sharknado 5, where you got to punch a shark... Right in the face. So how badass did that feel? The mayor of Slamtown got to take some of them sharks to Slamtown, <laughs> which I was I was really excited about. I, I, I threw that out there as an improv line. Yeah. And they uh, they kept it in the movie. That's awesome. <laughs> which, which was rad. Um, one of the fun things about uh, about lower budget films, and not that Sharknado 5 is actually even a low budget film because those things have started um, upping their production value, <laughs> but... Um, I've found that in uh, independent films and um, smaller productions, they're much more collaborative. Whereas if you're uh, doing like a DC or a Marvel thing or like a hundred or two hundred million dollar movie, um, there's going to be a stunt coordinator, an assistant stunt coordinator, a fight coordinator. Like everything's going to be fully prevised, and you're going to walk onto set as an actor um, with not a lot of room to improv. Yeah. But with the uh, with the smaller projects, um, I mean, there's pros and cons. But one of the pros of the smaller projects is uh, Especially action is more of a collaboration because you want to use, um, and uh, to the director of Sharknado, Anthony's credit, um, what I feel are my strongest attributes, mm -hmm. which is uh, punching sharks, parkour, <laughs> and pro wrestling, which is what I did. I did a side flip over a shark, I punched a shark dog, and then uh, gave a, a shark guy a snap suplex. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So then you just put on the resume, punching sharks. <laughs> You know what? I haven't put that on my resume yet, but you should add I'm it. going to. Yeah, yeah. good Maybe idea. Maybe right at the top. <laughs> What's a role that you would absolutely love to fulfill or a character you think you could do a lot of justice to? Ooh, let's see. Um, throw Casey Jones out there. Uh, I got to do uh, my version of Casey Jones in a superpower beatdown by Bat in the Sun, Casey Jones versus Kick-Ass. And um, I really dig his fighting style because he's just like a, a brawler who uses a lot of uh, blunt objects and um in my opinion a lot of the way that he's written in the comics is um 
the way that I like to choreograph action scenes and um, the way that I like to have my pro wrestling matches. You know, in your face, hard hitting, uh, a lot of, just a lot of fun, a lot of force. And um, yeah, I think I'd be one hell of a Casey Jones. Okay. Watch me. I like that. That's maybe. Like a lot I don't of confidence. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Until the maybe. Well, I mean, like, watch me be Casey Jones, yes. <laughs> Will there be a Casey Jones movie starring me? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Well, here on the site, we not only interview wrestlers, but also musicians. So if you could chill with a band for a day or an artist, which would that be? Man, any band or any artist for a day, that's a, that's a tough one. Because um, a lot of my musical tastes are, uh, are old school stuff, like um, Stones, Beatles, Grateful Dead. Awesome. Um, but I like a lot of the current, like Fantagrams, like uh, one of the bands that cool. I've been really digging lately. Me, maybe yeah. Fantagram. Oh, nice. I've had them on the yeah. show a couple times. They're very cool. Are they? Yeah, yeah. What's What's your least favorite thing about them? Least favorite thing about yeah, them? Yeah, something mean about them. Um, their music can be really sad sometimes. No, no, no. Like mean about them personally. I don't have anything mean Say about them personally. Say something mean about Fantagram right now. They've never done, They've never been mean to me. That's a cop out. Ooh. Come on. Well, oh my god. What's <laughs> really mean about Sorry. Taya? I know. How's that kidding. feel? How's that I'll, feel? I'm huh? just throwing it out there. I can't say anything mean about Taya. See, I'm not gonna say something mean about a band that was super sweet to me. Well, you have to say it first, and then I'll say something mean about Taya. I have nothing to say. I really don't. She's not. Okay. All right. <laughs> we well, have to go. That's good. Now I'm gonna trust you with my secrets. <laughs> See that? Trust. Not, not saying a bad word about anybody over I here. I am. Because the world is watching. Well, just wrap things up. I do want to leave it with the fans, because your fan base has been amazing through and through. Anything you want to say? Um. Sure. Yeah. To my uh, to my fans. You know. Um. Every day that I get to perform in the squared circle is a, is an honor and a blessing for me. It's uh, it's not easy. Professional wrestling is uh, one of the craziest things that I've ever been involved with, and it's become pretty much my entire adult life. Something <laughs> that I've been passionate about since I was a kid, and um, it really is uh, defined who I am. And uh, to to people that are, have been watching me. Uh, wrestle and have been uh, following my career in uh, TV and movies. Thank you. Um, I was a fan of wrestling. I became a wrestler without you guys watching me. Uh, there would be no pro wrestling and there would be no Sharknados and there would be no sharks. One of those is not true. I was about to say. <laughs> there, there would still be sharks. But the other two Thanks for are pointing true. it out. Like, it really wasn't obvious. We appreciate it. Well, I, you know, I mean, the, <laughs> this is a family show. There's, there might be kids watching. That's true. I don't we want gotta to make it very blunt. Let the kids think that there's going to be no sharks if they're not fans of sharks. That's weird. Yeah, that's true. That would be a weird way to end this interview. It really would. To turn it around, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I seriously appreciate it. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> and remember to everyone viewing, you visit us at alicia2.com for all exclusive interviews and features. We'll see ya.